Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. If you guys have a BMW 6 Series, guys, and it doesn't matter which engine you have, and you're wondering what are the symptoms of a bad crankshaft position sensor, stay with us and we'll explain that today, guys. Doesn't matter if you have a 6 cylinder, 8 cylinder engine, gasoline or diesel, the symptoms of our failing sensor will be about the same. And we'll explain if you have automatic transmission, how that sensor, guys, actually can make you think that you have a bad transmission as well. So, we'll cover all that today, guys. Before we start, every single car we get at the shop we make guys at least two to three hundred free repair videos why we do all that simply because our mission at the shop is to save you guys as much money as we can all we need in return guys please subscribe to the channel and like the video now we're demonstrating on n52 six cylinder gasoline engine that you can find in six uh, series as well guys you can find in three five and six series we're making this video because many of you asked us in the comment section below since there is very limited information on bmw six series but many of you don't know guys actually that the same engine have been used in other BMWs and the symptoms will be the same. Now, if you need to buy a replacement sensor, parts, tools, check out guys the links in the description of the video below that will be shared for your convenience. So, now, usually guys, if you have a six cylinder engine, you will have to remove your intake manifold to get to the sensor. If you have a uh, V8 engine, the procedure will be a little bit different. And uh, I think we'll be making a video on the 4.4 engine coming soon. The one that has been used in the 645s. So, if you guys come right here, right under the engine starter, that's where okay, our crankshaft position sensor is located. Uh, you always have to clean if you have dust, dirt, or anything like that uh, around the sensor. Why, guys? Because otherwise, all that will end up getting inside the engine, and uh, you can cause uh, very, very bad damage to your engine, guys. So, uh, I want to explain something quick, guys. We remove the board and stuff, so we can simply remove the sensor. You have one O-ring here that prevents oil leaks. That's very, uh, very common, guys. You have to replace that O-ring as well. Uh, common problems of a bad or failing sensor are sometimes loose wire or a wire that's not plugged all the way in. So I've seen that quite uh, quite uh, uh, often here at the shop. Even people will replace the sensor with a new one. They'll put the car together uh, and it will not run correctly. This is because sometimes when putting it together, they will yank that wire out and it will not be uh, responding, guys. Now inside, you have a... Okay, let's get a little bit of light so we can show that uh, gear where it's uh, reading inside. I want to show you guys, okay, what it looks like. Okay, check it out. This is the gear, okay, right there. So it's uh, reading from that, guys, and it's uh, telling the car computer the position of the crankshaft, guys. So it can adjust the variable timing, uh, ignition timing, gasoline, uh, fuel, or diesel timing as well, guys. Now, one thing, guys. Okay, when that sensor fails, your car may not start or it may take a very long time for your car to start. Once it starts, your car will not be running correctly. You may hear weird noises and vibrations from the engine. Misfiring as well, guys. This is a very, okay, very common problem as well. Misfiring is another thing. Uh, something else, guys. Okay, you will get engine light on and you will have most likely a code relating to, a cam uh, to the crankshaft position sensor, which is code usually between uh, zero p0335 and p0339 guys it could be any of these codes now you will be lacking power and when you try to accelerate your car may be uh, kind of like wanting to die then all of a sudden it will start going then it will want to die die it, it will not be very responsive at all guys and if you have automatic transmission you will get a transmission malfunction light guys and you may be stuck in limp mode okay because of that sensor and you may be stuck only in one gear so that's very common because of a bad or failing sensor guys for your car to get stuck in one gear and not be running correctly now another thing you will notice a terrible fuel economy and if you keep driving it that way first it's almost impossible second if you for some reason decide to do it guys you can cause damage to your valves engine cylinder head exhaust system which uh, you have that guys there the oxygen sensor and the catalytic converters so it could be catastrophic for your car and you may notice even some misfiring as i said and backfiring and that can even lead to jumping the timing guys especially if you have older timing components older timing chain and things like that so uh, that could be guys catastrophic for your engine so don't uh, don't keep driving on it just replace the sensor once you have a chance to do that guys so hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching please subscribe and see you guys next time